So why do we assess learners? So I gave you this list of purposes, of reasons to assess before. But now I want to move into the next one, which is to think about assessment as a way to promote learning. Because uh, if you think about assessment as a task that requires the learner to use all the things that they've been acquiring in the course to meet the objectives and goals that you've set, if they do that, they're also learning in the process. So they may be demonstrating learning they've already done, or they may be acquiring learning in the assessment process. Um, so we're not going to take time for this, just in the interest of the time, but this is an argument that we wrestle with in the medical school a lot. And it is uh, the idea that t teaching to the test is not a good thing to do, and it largely stems from the fact that our testing is so bad. Um, our testing is largely multiple choice tests of facts, and acquiring these facts is, yeah, it's good, it's necessary, but it's not really what we care about. So if you teach only to get high scores or study to get high scores on those kinds of assessments, you're missing a huge part of the outcomes that we're really concerned with. My argument to my colleagues is that if you have a good test, one that's really tapping into the things that matter in a, in a valid way to give you good data, teaching to that test should be fine because you're accomplishing the same things. Um, so there are real benefits, educational benefits to testing. Key thing is it gives feedback to the learners, and we've talked about that a little bit already in, in some of the discussion, that if the assessments are useful, relevant, and authentic, it's very useful for the learners to know how they're doing. This is their, maybe their only feedback that they're acquiring uh, the skills that you're trying to get. Um, it involves them in their, in their own learning. You can use these assessments to guide the students with information that will enable them to focus on areas of weakness. Uh, you can also use it yourself in your own teaching to find out if something really goes bad. Um, okay, was this a problem with the assessment? Have I not been teaching this in the right way? You know, so this is good feedback for us as instructors as well. Uh, we, you, you mentioned self-efficacy, um, and a lot of our self-efficacy is built on this kind of feedback of our performance. So it can be very useful for um, modifying the student's self-image, uh, sometimes raising it, sometimes appropriately lowering it. Um, have a lot of students who may be overconfident inappropriately of their uh, excellent skills and ability that need to be brought back to reality. So again, a kind of feedback function. And if you uh, use it appropriately, students can use the assessment as a way to judge their own progress. So there's a lot of ways that assessment can be actually educational in and of itself. 